Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day, and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So, remember a couple of weeks ago, I made this Sailor V picture using Cotman watercolours? Well, I thought, let's actually review them! <laughs> let's get started! <laughs> watercolours that I have. Cotman is the student brand by Winsor & Newton. There are 40 different colours in the Cotman watercolour range. But these are the colours that I have. These came as a set that I bought on Black Friday so I can't remember the price. These I bought to supplement them and I paid £2.50 for and they're in 8mm tubes. Let's swatch them. written out. I've done an extra swatch for Chinese white um, to see if it shows up on black just because I'm curious because obviously I'm thinking that Chinese white probably isn't going to show up on white. <laughs> it's just a thought I have but <laughs> we'll see. Okay let's get swatching. Oh just to warn you this is actually going to be my first time properly swatching fancy pants well, semi-fancy pants watercolours. So I do apologise ahead of time if my swatching ability is not super duper. But hopefully I'll get better as we go along, huh? Okay. Ooh, I like sepia. That's nice. That's very nice. <laughs> this one was not great. Uh, uh. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, that was unexpected, but um, I'll be more prepared for that now, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
Oh no! Oh, it's it's continuing to escape. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no no no! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Oh no, um, oh no, okay, um, um, I'll be back again again, oh god, oh god, ah! Okay, this is how it's got, I've got some of these for a future video, but I think I might have to use it right now just to store the excess paint. I had to get sap green. Thanks to Miss Casey Golden. I feel like every person who tries watercolour has to have sap green. <laughs> huh, you know, it's not as poopy green as on the uh, the bottle. We've got another escaper. I'm prepared this time. I just pose it there. Oh, it's a lovely colour though. Very lovely colour. Alright, you. Get in the pan. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's a pretty boy. <laughs> Okay, just for funsies, I'm going to try Chinese white over the, the black alcohol marker. The black alcohol marker shouldn't reactivate with water. Um, so, let's have a little see, because I'm kind of curious. Ooh. Well, there you go. So, let's see how that dries. Uh, I kind of feel I did Payne's Grey dirty because I got that swatch far too wet. So let's let's give Payne's Grey a second chance because you can see the swatches where I got them too wet because the paint has absolutely separated. <laughs> let's give Payne's Grey a second chance. And I'll try and be less of a doofus. There we go. Right, let's see how they look after they dry. So here are the final dried swatches. I've written E on the ones that try to escape out of the tube, so I know for next time. There has been a little bit of separation on certain colours, um, but that might be down to me using too much water on the brush, as I am new to this sort of thing. But, you know what, it's good to be aware of that. 
Chinese white actually showed up more than I thought it would, but I'm still not 100% certain why you'd need a white with watercolours. Um, but you know, it gives a sort of creamy colour. And you know what? It turned up quite well on the black, so if you have black paper or tone paper, it might be really nice to use on that. I'm really looking forward to paint with these. So I came up uh, with some ideas of what I would like to watercolour. I actually did record it, here's the page, um, but it ended up being a video in itself, it was so long, so if you like, I'll show that next week. Um, these images all come from the shop Leonox, I've never actually bought anything from there before, so if they're dodgy, I apologise, but if they're not, I would really love to get some clothing from there in the future, because it's so cute! Um, so I'm doing a self-portrait inspired by this lookbook. <laughs> I absolutely love her jumper. <laughs> Basically the whole outfit is inspired by this jumper. Um, so let's get sketching. Okay, so here's the sketch. Um, not sure how well you can see it, uh, but I'm happy with it. So, next step is to lighten the lines with my needed eraser.
So there we have it, one self-portrait done using the Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolours. Um, as you can see, I used them quite lightly compared to how dark they can get on the swatches. Uh, that was mostly down to the pastel theme of the picture, and because, well, <laughs> I'm quite pale too. <laughs> Thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favourite part was, or whether you'd like to use the Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolours now. It'd be wonderful if you could like this video, subscribe, share, maybe even turn on notifications. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram and TikTok now too. Links will be in the description box below. You can also read my online comics on Tapas and Webtoons. Once again, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!